FutureLux Computex 2011 coverage is brought to you by Kingston's new HyperX Plug and Play Memory Kits, NZXT's Crafted Gaming Armor, and Gigabyte's G1 Killer Series Gaming Motherboards. So over here I want to show you quickly our uh, Intel platform. Um, of course, we have our full range of boards uh, that we're showing off here at Computex. But one of the unique boards I want to show you right here is our, one of our new Z68 motherboards. Now, what Gigabyte's done that's a little bit different than any other manufacturer is we've actually included an onboard uh, mSATA slot on our mother, some of our motherboards. So these have the um, these support mSATA memory, which basically allows users to uh, use Intel smart response technology, so basically data caching on, on these drives. Um, this is, uh, as it says right here, SLC memory. These are Intel's new uh, SSD drives. Um, this one, I believe, is 20, 20 gigabyte capacity. So again, it offers the ability for users to, you know, if they have a, a traditional hard drive, they can use this small size cache to cache all of their applications so they get a much faster response time. So this, this board itself is, is even more unique in that we're doing a special bundle deal with Intel. So this board is actually going to come with the, the MSATA memory uh, bundled with the board itself. So again, we're the only motherboard manufacturer to actually offer MSATA on board. And again, this is Z68 platform. Um, so you do have a lot of the, the benefits of Z68. You've got the integrated graphics, um, so you do have the video out, and you do have support for uh, uh, Lucid Virtue technology, uh, which basically allows you to, um, to use both the integrated and discrete. So you can turn off your discrete if you're not using it, um, and you can save some power. But also you can still take advantage of Intel's uh, transcoding capabilities that are built into the CPU. So you can do much faster transcoding if you want to change your, you know, want to put some videos onto your iPod or whatever. And quickly, I just wanted to show you this guy right here. This one we haven't uh, released yet or announced. This is our new Z68 uh, gaming motherboard. Um, we haven't released the name yet. But as you can see, this supports the Z68 platform. A lot of people have been asking when we were going to have a gaming board for this platform. And this will be out relatively soon, but I can't say when. Yeah, so like I mentioned, Gigabyte has a lot of technologies to support Intel smart response technology. So we've got the mSATA on board. Um, also, you know, we have a new utility that we're announcing here at Computex, and it's called Easy Smart Response. Um, basically, this utility allows users to um, click one time and install Smart Response. Now, in general, if you're going to install Intel Smart Response, it takes a little bit of effort because you have to set up your system into RAID mode. Once it's in RAID mode, you have to reinstall the OS, and then you have to go in and install Intel Smart Response technology. Um, but basically, we've developed a new utility that does that all on its own. So click it once, it'll automatically change your OS into RAID mode. Uh, it'll go through the BIOS for you, and it won't, it doesn't need to actually go into Windows and reinstall the OS. So basically, we found a way to do that, and you can actually set up Intel Smart Response now in maybe about uh, three to four minutes, whereas before, reinstalling your OS takes a long time. In front of me here, I have our new Gigabyte Touch BIOS. This is our new utility that allows users to make BIOS changes in the Windows uh, OS. So as you can see here, the system is set up into IDE mode. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click out of here, and I'm going to try to install Intel Smart Response technology. So as you can see, it, the application started, but oh, this computer does not meet the minimum requirements. Now that's because, as I said before, this system is in IDE mode. And what we have to do is change this to RAID mode. But as any of you who have set up RAID before knows, you have to reinstall the OS completely in order to enable this new function. So of course, this is going to take you a long time to, to install Intel Smart Response technology. So what Gigabyte has done is we've created a new utility that actually allows you to set up uh, your system into RAID mode as well as automatically install Intel Smart Response technology just by clicking the utility here. 
So now I'm going to uh, enable this new technology. Uh, the system is going to go through several reboots. So the first reboot is going to enable, uh, it's going to go into the BIOS and enable the system into RAID mode. It's going to reboot and then go and install Intel Smart Response technology. So it's gone through the reboot process and now it's automatically installed Intel Rapid Storage technology. Now this has included into it Intel Smart Response. So as you can see here, Intel Smart Response technology um, is now enabled. So there you have it, Gigabyte's new uh, easy uh, smart response technology or utility allows users to very quickly enable Intel smart response technology without having to reinstall the OS. So this saves users a lot of time and a lot of hassle having to set up their system. So this is definitely good for users who, you know, they can buy one of our MSATA bundle boards, they can slot it in their machine, they can click on this utility, and they can instantly take advantage of Intel smart response technology. So I have one more thing that I'm pretty excited to show you guys. Um, we've got a sneak peek of our new uh, upcoming uh, platform from Intel. This is our X79 motherboard. As you can see, uh, the socket is quite a bit different than past generations. Um, I just kind of want to quickly show you guys. This is the new uh, locking mechanism. So it's quite a little, little bit bigger, a little more complex. And of course, it also has the 8-channel memory. We've got the memory on both sides, actually, for better signaling. Um, but again, this is a reference board, so you know, things will change by the time launch comes around. So this is basically a proof of concept board. Um, this is our design board that we sent to Intel. And I can't talk about when this is going to be available. Uh, you just, your guess is as good as mine. So this is a little sneak peek of what's coming up from, from Intel.